Okay guys, Tiffany again. Um, I know I jumped off abruptly before, but I was in a panic and wanted to make sure that I had the best route back to the hospital. And so now we are on 95, even though 95 is a nightmare. GPS still said it would be quicker than any other way. So we are currently on 95. We are heading to Fort Lauderdale to Blue Pearl Critical Care Hospital. Um, I am trying to go as fast as I can uh, and be as steady as I can because, like I said, they believe she was hit by a car a couple of hours ago. She was found on the side of the road. They believe she's in shock. I believe she's in shock just by looking at her. So I am desperate to get her to the hospital as soon as I possibly can. And of course, it's a Friday on 95 and traffic is horrible. also trying to keep the car as still as possible because I don't know if she's got any broken bones or a broken back or anything. We don't know anything about her condition. All we know is when she came in, they said there's nothing that they could do for her, that she needs immediate um, rescue and immediate emergency medical. Uh, they blasted it in an email and we immediately uh, placed our hold, got in the car, and got down there to get her. So we have no idea what the extent of her injuries are. But I can tell by looking at her looking in her eyes and her pupils that she's definitely in shock. So I'm trying desperately to get to the hospital as fast as possible. The donate button is on this post as well as my last one. I know the last one was very quick, but once she was in my car, like I said, and I, and I saw her eyes, I knew that I had to figure out the fastest way to get back to the hospital, so I needed to shut down to check the routes on my GPS. So I figured while we were getting back on the highway, I would jump back on live for anybody who may have missed my first video because it was so short in length. But I am begging you guys to please donate. We have no idea what's wrong with her. We have no idea if she's gonna make it. I pray to God she does. And I'm asking you all to please also pray she is adorable. They have her listed as a Chihuahua on the paperwork. She looks like a Yorkie to me. Granted, all I can see is her face, but she definitely looks more Yorkie than Chihuahua. I don't know how big she is. I don't know what condition her body is in. I wasn't about to unwrap her or move her around at all. Literally, as soon as they put her in my car is when I went live. So you guys have seen as much of her as I have. I just want to get her to the hospital. The only thing I'm grateful right now for is that this dog came from Broward and not Miami. Because I would be completely losing my mind if I had to drive from Miami the dog in her condition.
So again, guys, the donate button is on this video. Please donate towards her care. We know she is a female. They said that they think she's about two years of age. That's all we know so far. The donate button is there. Also, the PayPal link is there if you prefer PayPal. We also have Venmo now. If you prefer Venmo, you can donate that way. And our mailing address is all on this post. Please, guys, please donate, and please, please say a prayer. I, of course, cannot see anything on my phone, any comments or anything. I'm not looking at it, and it's not even pointed towards me, so I can't answer any questions. I don't really know anything right now other than what I have told you guys that she was found on the side of the road brought in like two hours ago they believe hit by a car I believe she's in shock oh my god so many cars it's okay it's okay it's okay seriously dude Drivers are just horrible, horrible today. All right, guys, I'm pulling into the hospital, so I'm going to have to sign off now. Again, please donate. Please donate, and please, please pray for this little girl that we just saved. This is Tiffany 100 Plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida.